Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about comparing decimals. We have a problem here. Kench is planning to buy a gift for her mom this holiday season. But she is choosing between the two items below. Which one will you choose for her? Remember to choose the one that she can save to still buy a gift for her dad. Is it wallet A, 235 pesos and 50 centavos or wallet B, 235 pesos and 5 centavos? How will we solve this problem? First, line up the decimal points. Then, starting at the left, find the first place the digits differ. Then, compare the digits. You can say that 5 is greater than 0 or 5 is greater than 0 in symbols. We can suggest Kench should buy or choose Wallet B. Let us have some exercises. Use less than, greater than, and equal to to compare. We have here 5 and 6 tenths is length than 5 and 60 hundredths. First thing that we should do is to align the decimal points. So we have to rewrite these decimals. We have here 5 and 6 tenths and 5 and 60 hundredths. Starting from the left, let's identify the place where the digits differ. So in this case, for the whole number part, they have the same number. They're equal and of course the decimal point. We can see the difference in the tenths place where the first decimal has 0 and the other has 6. We can also tell that 0 is less than 6. That will make our answer less than. We can say that 5 and 6 tenths is less than 5 and 60 hundredths. Now for the second question, 9 and 200 thousands is blank than 9 and 2 thousands. Let's align these decimals by writing them again. That's 9 and 200 thousands and 9 and 2 thousands. Next, starting from the left, let's identify the first place where the digits differ. We can see here that in the tenths place, the digits differ. So, we can write 2 is greater than 0. This also applies in our question. We can write 9 and 200 thousands is greater than 9 and 2 thousands. Next, we have the third one. We have here 235 and 120 thousands is blank than 235 and 12 hundredths. Let's rewrite this decimals in order for us to align the decimal points. We have here 235 and 120 thousands and we also have 235 and 12 hundredths. Starting from the left, we have to find the first place where the digits differ. In here, in this place, they have the same, in here the same, in here the same, the same and the same except for this zero and nothing no digits zero is equivalent to nothing right so we can say our answer for this question is equal question number three that would be 235 and 120 thousands is equal to 235 and 12 hundredths let us have the last one we have here 7 and 1 thousandth is blank than 70 and 1 hundredth. Let's rewrite these decimals so that we can align their decimal points. We have here 7 and 1 thousandth and 70 and 1 hundredth. We have to take note that the value of the whole number part of the first decimal is 7 while in the second is 70. So obviously 70 is greater than 7. That means that 7 is less than 70 because 70 is greater than 7. 
So our answer for this question is less than. We can say that 7 and 100 is less than compared to 70 and 1,000th. We're done! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!